Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to our industrial automation lecture. Uh, today we will be covering various tutorial problems for our pneumatic uh, circuit design uh, portion of our industrial automation course. Uh, so as you have, as I, you already know that we are going to use Fleet Sim 3.6 um, to simulate the pneumatic circuits. And this one is the first problem. We total there are nine problems, and we I will try to make five to seven videos for all these nine problems. So the first problem states that a double acting cylinder is to transfer parts from this uh, magazine, and uh, once it pushes the part out of the magazine, it will slide down, and there might be a collector bean, which is not shown in this figure, uh, to collect these parts. And but uh, the problem here is uh, the cylinder uh, can be operated either by pressing the push button or a foot pedal wall. And also, a uh, cylinder should retract to its original position uh, once it uh, has reached to its uh, final position. Okay, so this is the problem. Let's see how to solve this one. So we have to first open the fluid seam. Okay, this is the software. Okay, I have already introduced this software to you. So this is pretty simple. So you open, uh, these are the different symbols that are available, okay. So we open a new project, okay. So uh, as mentioned here, it's a double acting cylinder. So we have to look for a double acting cylinder. So I try to enlarge it here. So let's see where is the double acting cylinder. Here you are. So this is the double acting cylinder we bring here. Just press uh, left mouse click and hold it and then drag it here to this screen. Okay, and then it can be operated either by a, a push button or a foot pedal valve. So we need a three to a valve. So so it's a 3 2 way valve. So this is the 3 2 way valve. And we need another one. So that's why I bring two 3 2 way valve. Because it says either by push button or a foot pedal. So there would be two 3 2 way valve. So this one I have to double click to configure this valve. So, so let's say the first one is push button. Here I select the push button here and return should be spring return and original position the two should be connected to the exhaust so this is the initial position so then i press ok so this is my foot pedal valve and then uh, sorry push button valve and then the second one should be foot pedal you can see here this is the foot pedal and also this should be the two should be connected to exhaust and spring return as usual Okay. Uh, okay. And uh, for number three, we connect it to the exhaust. So we connect through silencer to the exhaust. And then this one also same. Number one, you know, it should be connected to the compressor. So we bring the compressor here. copy here so another compressor line connected here okay then it says that um, so you should not make it like connect directly here uh, rather there has to be or function because it says or either of these so the or valve we have to use the or valve which is nothing uh, which is basically a shuttle valve so let's look for the shuttle valve symbol. Uh, let me see. Ah, here you are. The shuttle valve is here. So 
we bring the shuttle valve here. So this shuttle valve, uh, the, so the working port will be connected to the shuttle valve inlet, any one of them. Okay. Okay. Then this output should be going to a four to a valve to actuate the cylinder. So we bring a four to a valve. So and okay now this one should be pneumatically operated because we don't want to press and hold uh, this input signal we just press and it should go at it as it is so we have to have something that is um, latched valve which is basically pneumatically controlled so this is the pneumatically controlled valve and the other side also should be pneumatically controlled no spring return okay so this one should be connected here okay uh, so once this is connected let's say this two is going to be connected here and now regarding the fourth one so we have to put another valve which should be a limit valve uh, which is basically a 3 to a valve so that's why it uh, let's put it 3 to a valve which oh, it should not be mana uh, manual it should be mechanical by roller so this roller will be hit by the cylinder and then the valve can return uh, can be actuated so and uh, should be spring return okay let's put it and this should be connected to the other point okay and then okay or maybe we, we can swap it better to do that it's okay uh, anyone sh can be connected as long as if the cylinder is working fine as we decide okay now we double click this cylinder and we edit the label here so the label we put uh, initial one is uh, one a and one a one maybe okay and the final level uh, so this one is let's say zero position and and then we say one a two which might be 100 millimeters so this is the stroke length of 100 millimeter let's say we put this one so this is the case okay now this one should be at 1a2 so we put a level here this roller so you double click this one and then this level will come so it has to be exactly same where you want to put this roller so it should be at a2 when the cylinder is fully extended so we put here same as the cylinder so we put 1a2 and then we press ok so you can see they are kind of interconnected okay now okay now uh, let's try to so we have fulfilled all the things so either by push button or a foot pedal so this uh, or valve the cylinder should st start to extend and then once it reaches the um, full extension it should automatically be retracted let's see whether it is working or not so we press this play button to start the simulation okay oh there is an open connection let's see okay there are many open connections so we have to fi uh, fix this problem so cancel this one so what happened here uh, is basically what we have to do is we bring this one here it should be connected to one and also we have to bring this one it should be connected to one and the three should be your exhaust with silencer so we press OK so exhaust with silencer we press OK I think now this problem will be solved let's try okay yes 
let's see what happens so if we press this one it should start to move okay um, let's try whether it's okay uh, okay so you can see here once you press it goes and then come back automatically okay now uh, to make it more appealing uh, we stop it and we put a flow direction here okay we delete this one and put a flow control valve so where is the flow control valve um, flow control valve is basically I think the name is throttle valve let's see Ah, here you are so this throttle valve so we drag it here so this throttle valve ensures that in any direction the flow will be controlled if you have one way uh, flow control also possible but I prefer to use at the moment uh, throttle valve so let's say we want to put this thing um, in both direction let's say so we copy this one okay and then we want to uh, make it let's say 50 percent and this one also double click and make it 50 percent so the opening is 50 percent so uh, let's say this is 60 percent a little bit different or maybe 40 percent so that you can see the difference okay then right button to make it rotate by 90 degree and this one also rotate by 90 degree okay so connect here then connect here and then this one we bring sorry we bring here connect to this point connect to this point now we try to do the simulation same simulation let's see what happens so nothing is moving so we press this one it will start to move I didn't press it and hold and it will once it hits the limit and then it will come back so now you can see okay if I press foot paddle also it is the same so either of this button is pressed this thing will be um, actu uh, activating so then the last thing is you stop and save it as my folder we save it as example one for future use okay I think that's all hope you have understood the first example we will be doing a few more in the next videos inshallah Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.